Uh, hey everyone, this is James. Uh, somebody just asked a question in the group about, you know, doing like a follow spot type thing. So, I mean, this is a, there's a whole cool new way to do this in 3.0. Um, a lot easier, uh, if that, if it was even possible at all in 2.0. Um, so, I've kind of already made one scene here where, um, it's just out and yellow. And then this is my, I just have to kind of tighten these up a little bit. So I'm going to go to the faders and just kind of you know, try to center it all on one spot. And just going to get these all nice and lined up. So you would do this, you would try to focus this, you know, on like, uh, start out like, you know, the middle of the dance floor, or someplace, you know, that you know where the person's going to be. And so, yeah, pretty dead center there. Um, just grab all four, and you can just hit this button here, it's called Relative View. Let's kind of take them all and put them all on the grid. So I mean, they might kind of spread out a little bit, but might not look the greatest in the 3D, but it should should give you a general idea for uh, operation and stuff. So. Something kind of like that. It's just a way for you to move them all, and they'll all stay in that same area relative to each other. So that's one way. I mean, you can even do this. Um, you can even do this live on the fly. So a little bit fast spot scene, and <coughs> bam! Now they're on like uh, another LTP for the penetrative values and stuff. So that's that's how you can do that. And when you're done, just reset it, throw on your other scene, and you're good to go. So that's just that was just a really quick video that I want to show you of the relative pan and tilt button in in Mighty Mix 3. All right, take it easy.